I was just improv and making stuff up. Sitting in the studio, feels really nice. Sitting in the studio, even by my side. <laughs> anyway. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> Okay, so you actually, you're from Arkansas. So I am from Arkansas, are yes ma'am. a ma southern boy. Yes ma'am. Because yes. last night when I saw you at the cast party, I'm like, okay, you can get off the stage now. You don't need to keep that up. That's me. <laughs> like, that's that me. Is, and then I realized that's him. He's got, <laughs> yeah. that, he's got that voice. Uh, and Johnny. David. Yeah. When did you figure out, did you used to have like a high voice like this when you were mm -hmm. little, or did you always have a deep voice? Yeah, there was a... The year fifth grade, I had a solo doing uh, I think a song from Camel. I was doing Saint Moi, and we got an old tape of it, and it was sky high, sound like a little girl. And then the next year, I was doing Old Man River. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it was a quick drop. <laughs> I, actually, quick drop. Yeah, we were we were talking about it on the way over because I actually used to talk low enough and growing up, and I mumbled a little bit as a kid, just as you know boys do, and people couldn't hear me. So I think I forced forced my voice a little higher. So kind of letting it go big again. And what about your parents? Were they musically inclined and they listened to this music all the time when, they, when you were growing up? Yeah, your parents absolutely. and grandparents? Yeah, my, um, yeah, my mom was, you know, probably the biggest musical influence as far as just playing different stuff. And, um, especially in the church, a lot of gospels and old hymns. And just, you know, she's such a fan of um, some of the old greats. And it's classic, dude. Yeah, just classic. I mean, it's, it's some classic, of the stuff dude. That, that, these, that these guys would have listened to, really. Um, you know, my grandma's from uh, rural Arkansas, grew up just 200 so miles north of where Johnny grew up, picking cotton, doing the same sort of thing he was doing. So, um, you know, strangely, probably heard some of the same stuff they did. My great grandpa uh, was in a old Potts Quartet in Arkansas. Right, right. And, um, you know, he used to play on the radio down there. And we haven't done enough research. I'm trying to dig something up to do the archives, but pretty sh safe to say that, you know, Johnny probably heard their quartet on the radio. I'm up. sure. So it was pretty cool. I'm sure. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, and when you are when you were listening to those sessions, I mean, you must have just really, you were so enmeshed in it. I, how many times do you think you sat there and just listened to that? Because you, oh, had, you had, especially that last piece, I mean, it was so, it was perfected. And then they brought it up on screen and we heard mm -hmm. it, and that was a real right. moving well, moment. Right, that's when you realize, that's, I think when a lot of people in the audience, that's when they go, oh, wow, this, this did happen, you know? Like, I mean, they know it through the show, and but then when that picture, you know, drops or whatever, I think that's like the, ooh, you know, it makes you take a step back, you know. Yeah. It's it pretty does. cool. It's pretty and nice. is that the music? I know you have done Elvis mm. for a while, and so many people try to impersonate Elvis, let's mm. be honest. But, There's a lot. Um, There's a lot. You definitely have the sound, and you play the instrument. And the moves, my God, did you start shaking and sliding since you were a little boy? I was, I you was. You were out of the womb, just moving I just, Come the on, second Mark. I came out. Yeah, the second I came out, I was doing Jahas Rock. No, <laughs> uh, no I, I was always, I was always into Elvis. I don't know why. I think he was, when I was younger, I really liked the 50s stuff. And uh, and I think Elvis was just like my friend, you know. That I watched Jahas Rock before I go to school and stop it. You know, before I walk out the door, then right when I get home, play it from there, and and it's real cool because I I would watch his movies and see his band and stuff, and now I'm working with, um, with his some of his band members, you know, mm -hmm. on what I do apart from this show, and it's just so cool. And then to be a part of this is just no words can put it, you know, describe it. It's just I awesome. bet I'm sure. Someone asked me last night, and you said you're working on some other things, mm -hmm. which usually is the case when you're as talented as you are. Oh, thank you. Someone said, why, because this guy never had gone to Broadway show before, mm -hmm. and he was just like a son. He said, these guys are so talented, why aren't they doing their own thing? And I said, well, I'm sure they probably have their own thing, mm -hmm. but when you do Broadway, it's like a dream, and then you get right. to, you know, actually fulfill that dream, something mm -hmm. since you were a kid, especially playing a role that yeah. seems like with both of you, mm. you were meant to play, oh, right? Yeah. I think so. I think so. I think it was destined to, to happen. You know? yeah. There's a lot of freedom. I mean, the show, everything's well run. Everyone's so great. Oh, yeah. I mean, we love everybody that we're oh, get it's to just, hang out with. It's and awesome. It just feels like a group of friends, and and we really are enjoying it. Like when we're smiling up there, it's a real yeah. smile, you know. 
and uh, it's great. Yeah, it's this really is nice. this is just my third city, so I'm you know still <coughs> telling these guys I'm up there like a fan too. I love just watching it's them. Cool. I matter whenever you know he does a new move, I'll turn to you know Kelly, to Diane, <laughs> and I'll say, I'd be like, 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 I haven't seen that one before. I was like, this <laughs> that is a new guy, move. He looks like such you know, an idiot. That, right could right? Been, <laughs> that could have been Johnny in the studio telling him, you know, I haven't seen that before. No. Yeah, that camaraderie was really something special, and it and it's also when you look back at it. It's kind of sad to think what success they all had, mm -hmm. and really that they were never fulfilled in their lives. They always, yeah, sure, yeah, totally right, totally right. You know, you look at that that mm -hmm. particular era when you're in that studio and you joke and have fun oh, at yeah. the beginning, and then, you know, when you know the story. Of course, I'm a little rock chick, so I've mm -hmm. got, you know, I, like, oh my God, it's just mm -hmm. you see the progression and that one line. I'll never play Vegas again. Right, and right, right. Everyone laughs so hard thought? because, yeah, we're it's thinking kinda, of the white suit. Yeah, and it's weird, like, because he did go to Vegas and he did flop, you know, and he didn't think he'd ever go. But they hated him there. Right. And then, but yeah, like you were saying about the lives of these guys, you know, at the show that we're doing is we're giving the people what the world fell in love with, you know, because this is when they, you know, Elvis and Johnny Cash, all those guys, Jerry Lee Lewis. This is the time that the world saw them and fell in love with them, and so that's what you're getting. You know, you're gonna get to see. You know, hopefully, I mean, nothing like them. I mean, we're just. You oh know, my God! You are really, we do our best, you know. really, really close. Oh, thanks. And every nuance and every move in those those eyes, like you were doing eyes. just now. Ooh, Ooh, the giant. Eyes. <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> so um, a lot of people didn't think you were playing those yeah. instruments, but. I mean, how could you not? Everything, I mean, that yeah. would be impossible. It's not like you're sitting there and trying to mime right. a song. I mean, you're, that would be hard. That would be really hard. But it mm. is a band. Yeah, it is a serious, there, yeah. serious yeah. band, and you've got to have major chemistry to get that going. And each one of you are brilliant thank at you, the thank instrument. You. Thank you. Well, it's really, really, really cool that it is live like that. I and mean, that's what when you come see the show, it's everything is live. So you're going to. The music, you know, you're gonna you're going to see a concert too, and then you're seeing the acting and everything, and everything is so raw and and right there in your face. And if something happens and there's a mess up, it's, you're gonna, you know, if the guitar goes out, then the, that's what's just gonna happen because yeah. that's that could happen. It's live, in the jam you know. Session, yeah, yeah it's live. Grab the other one. Yeah, grab the other guitar. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, change the string on stage real quick or something. Yeah. And the story itself is so incredible because, of course, I know that story, and mm -hmm. for me being around rock for as long as I've been awesome. around it, and then to see how it's changed. Mm -hmm. That was such a little slice, a true slice of musical soul yes. in the heaven right there, Sun Records. So, mm -hmm. you know, everybody, everybody in rock and roll and blues and, yes. and thought, oh my God, what would it have been like? to be there at that time. Yeah. Oh, I know. And, you know, they bring in certain aspects of each character's lives, and there's, you know, it's, it's some history there where you get a glimpse of what they were going through, what they'd done already, and what they're about to do, kind of that anticipation, what was next. You know, but I think... You put it all in one night. Yeah. yeah, I think what's fun is, I mean, it's, you know, it's an imaginative supposal of what could have been. It's kind of a fly-on-the-wall perspective. And there really was the contract negotiations going on. There really was... You know, the breaking loose and all this work with the Colonel and mm -hmm. Vegas and, and the upstart. I mean, so all this, I think what's fun is just watching the dynamic of what those guys could have been like. And that was one of the things I enjoyed mm -hmm. as a fan of the show. I saw it on Broadway May in 2011, you know, and that's where I first heard about it. And that was and what thought, I thought, really I've got to do that. And now it's I did, yeah, actually, that's what I thought. Yeah, I saw it with, uh, with my girlfriend, and afterwards I was like, am I crazy or could I do that? You know? You're crazy. And then I, yeah, and actually, and 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 actually having. That. Having done it now, I realized, had I known what I know now, I, would have, I wouldn't even have gone for it. But now that I got it, I mean, I'm just, you know, beyond thrilled. Dude, and here you are. Yeah, we're here you are. Here we are. Yeah.